Hey everybody, I'm going to show you something here with a cup and a ball, right? Basically, um, traditional cups and balls is usually done with three cups, three balls. This is going to be done with one cup, one ball, right? And this is how it works. I take the ball here, put it in my hand, put it in my pocket, snap my fingers, it's back under the cup, right? Well, I'll do it one more time in case you missed it. Take the ball, goes here, in my pocket, back under the cup. Now you're probably wondering how that's done, right? It's basically trap doors in the cup. You can't see them. But believe me, they're there, right? And this is how it works. I take the ball, boom, drop it, goes right through the cup. Right? I can do it through the other side too. One, two, three. And it goes right through the other side. Just like that. Here, I'm going to show you something else that's really, really, really cool. Right? I take the, with this shot glass and with this uh, hanky, we'll call it a hanky anyway, right? I have, uh, I and now I take the ball and I put it on top of the shot glass just like this and now just watch one two three and as you can see the ball has actually penetrated the shot glass and then I can take the ball put it back in my pocket once again it's back under the cup right I'll do it I'll do it one more time just like that. You're probably wondering, like, there's got to be more to it than this. And there is a little bit more. See, what I do is when I take the ball, right, in my hand here, I, pu I put it in my pocket, and then it has to be at the right time that, like, because I can't just, I can't just, like, let, let it go all the way up and around before it's the right time, but it does actually go up. I flick it up, and it goes up all the way around here and then I have to catch it here. That's why I put the cup down so hard so that I can catch it when it comes back. Right? You see? Because like when I catch it here, basically, like it gets really neat. I'll show you how cool this gets, right? And then I catch it here and then it ends up there, right? You know? And basically, what I have to do is I have to be really, 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 really careful, right? Because when I put the pot, when I put the cup over here, right, for example, right, then it then it comes then it turns into a completely completely different thing, right? Because once I lift the cup up again, all of a sudden a lemon's there, right? But never mind that, right? Like I mean the lemon's kind of cool, and everything, but you know, I really don't know how this happens. And the other thing that happens is I do that I cannot explain is how the hell this thing gets in there. And that's it. 